My name is Alim Mumuni. I am a paracyclist and a potent spokesperson to end polio in the world. I was born in Garu, the Upper East region of Ghana. I contracted poliomyelitis at the age of two after I had walked barely a year, then crawled for the next eight years before I could walk with the assistance of a wooden stick. I had a passion in football, biking, swimming, and farming. Yes, I am a renowned paracyclist, professional paracyclist. I am also a farmer. I spent uh, the past seven years in parasports. Uh, I have achieved so much, if I may say, when it comes to the world of cycling. I am among the world cyclists in the world. I am more or less a black star in Ghana. Uh, I got to where I am today uh, by the help of people support of people who love what I do. Uh, I worked also hard. I determined. And today, uh, I am a two-time Paralympian, a three-time African champion, and the oral paracyclist in Africa to have represented Ghana in Africa, in London 2012, and Rio 2016, in the Valley Drum and Root. My biggest struggles uh, in life are numerous, but uh, the few are we here, I'm generalizing, I'm putting it in the context of disabled persons in sports and the other endeavors. One, getting support from the government or the country to compete, go to qualifications, getting equipment, sophisticated equipment to compete with the world-class athletes, and then financially getting support to live on. Or when we even compete to represent the country, borrow money to get or tickets to get qualified, the government or the country pays less attention to what we love doing and what we have been doing for the country. It's always hard. Sometimes we, I think of giving up. But that's saying that our, our greatest fear lies in giving up. Going cap in hand from one company to the other, you are an athlete, you train, you go to companies for an individual for support, just to go and compete and represent the country, your own country. And yet, they are not giving you the nominal support. The government of the country does not give you the nominal support, financially, equipment, and then, what we are due to have not been given to us since 2016, as far at least. So it's so painful when you die for your own country, yet the country does not see the importance of you. Thousand and one countries or managers have asked me several times if I, wouldn't, if I would like to switch nationality. But I love my country. The answer I always give is time will tell. I have family. I eat, I drink. How do I live or survive without financial support? So I have to farm in order to survive. What I do is what I love. And I don't just do it for myself. I never wore the color of my alem. I wear the color of Ghana. What government, we need government to do, or what government can do to make 
persons with disabilities, I'm talking in general, persons with disabilities, life easier. Uh, it's about minimizing the uh, struggles. And we are not saying they can eradicate it once. No. They have to start minimizing the struggles of persons with disabilities in their country. Some have requisite qualifications yet they are not getting the jobs just because they are persons with disability. Some are talented and they are not supported and just because they are persons with disabilities. Accessibility is not all areas. Even the sports here in the sports authority you cannot climb a person with a, with a, with a wheelchair a wheelchair user cannot climb the media center nor any other office here. Why? They have not created, they have not made it friendly for persons with disabilities. Mean we are, we are left out. Uh, when you look at educational sector, children with disabilities are not given the opportunity. Only few are. And what the government can do to make it easier for us is to empower us 